What's up guys? Uh, tonight I'm bringing you a little bit different style of video than I usually post. Uh, I'm going to show you what I do when I crappie fish. I'm going to show you some tricks. They're going to save you some money. You're going to catch more fish and you're just going to have less headaches out on the water. It really simplifies everything and it's just a win-win. So I'm going to show you guys, over, I'm going to get my camera set up over here and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, so I think I got a little solution going here. I ended up hanging nails up here because I couldn't find any zip ties. Tied two pieces of string in a loop to hold my phone because that's what I'm filming with. And we'll pretend this is my phone. You just set that in there facing back towards you. And now I have something to hold my camera. So you guys better thank me for this video because I had to jump through hoops just to do this. Because my tripods aren't here yet. Alright, so. This may go against... What a lot of people do, but I don't care, this is the way I do it. And it saves you a lot of money when it comes to rigging jigs, it saves you a lot of money in plastics, and you catch more fish. This is just, it's my opinion, but I've done quite a bit of crappie fishing in the past few years, and it's pretty well based in experience. So, what you want to get, the, this is the biggest key to what we're doing here today. And that's using a jig head that does not have a bait keeper on it. Get some jig heads, go with eighth ounce. I go anywhere from eighth ounce to one sixteenth with no bait keeper. That's the key to this. Now, you may think that's dumb because, oh, my bait's gonna fall off my jig head all the time and blah, blah, blah. Well, no. The biggest reason behind that is when you put a jig head on that doesn't have a bait keeper, First of all, that's held on there really well. I can yank on this thing all day. It's barely gonna slide around. So, you don't really need a bait, bait keeper in the first place. Uh, second of all, say, I'll, sh I'll kind of give you guys an example here. I'm gonna find one with a bait keeper. We'll say this one, this little weedless jig head. See that big bait keeper on there? Well, crappie plastics aren't very big, so when you go sticking that whole jig head in there with the barb, first of all, it barely fits in there. You can make it work, but that looks kind of dumb in my opinion. It doesn't sit on the hook right. And then when you go to take that off or say a fish comes up and pulls that off, it tears a big old hole in the front body of that plastic. So this thing is ruined. These things aren't crazy expensive, but they're $3 a pack, and if you're getting one torn up every time you get a bite, you're going to be missing out on some money. Well, I mean, why would you do that when you could just make one, you can literally make one of these last all day with one of these, this style of jig head. So these are the way to go for sure. Now, the best thing to add to this little setup that I use, let me get, well, drop my jig head. So you get your plastic, whatever. We'll try this one just because it looks cool. These are actually a uh, locally made plastic jig body, whatever you want to call it, uh, by a guy here in town. It's called a brush dancer. It's a little more slim profile, and they love these things. It's just a little more finesse. It, the tail's really wispy and thin, and you barely have to move it to get some action out of it. But anyways, that's not the point. This is the second most important thing. These will change your crappie fishing if you're not already using them. I don't care what people say. I've fished side by side with people that weren't using them. We were using the same jig color, the same depth, the same jig head color, and they weren't catching anything until I started giving them these. I've seen it happen on multiple occasions. So what you do, and this also helps hold your jig body on. You take your crappie nibble, and I always go with chartreuse. It's, I mean, crappie love chartreuse anything, so it's kind of hard to go wrong with, even in clear water. And you just thread that down. And these are kind of soft right now, but if you leave them out, out of the jar for a few minutes, they'll harden up. And that will actually hold that jig on there. And right when the crappie gets a bite, they just get a big bite of that crappie nibble and they won't let go of that jig. Now, if you don't use a crappie nibble, you still might get a decent amount of bites, which I've seen it to where without a crappie nibble, you're not gonna get a bite at all. 
but say they are biting it, with these cropping nibbles on here, they're gonna hold on to that jig way longer and it makes a huge difference. So like if you're having a day where they're biting real light, and by the time you set the hook on them, you pull your jig out and it's like this every time, that's because they're short striking your jig and they're just biting this tail part. So when you go and set the hook, it pulls that plastic down and you get stuck like that. But when these are hardened up a little bit, it'll keep your plastic from doing that and you probably won't have that problem in the first place because they'll really thump it and they'll just sit there and hold on to it. I've had fish where I was fishing a brush pile and vertical jigging and I've literally sat there and yanked on them thinking that that fish was a, a branch that I was stuck on and they'll sit there and just hold on to it and sometimes they'll even thump it again. So these are hard to beat and I mean you can get a bigger jar than this. This is the small jar. You get a big jar like this or about twice this size for around $5 and that'll last you a long time as long as you're not burning through them. But if you are burning through them, you're probably having a good day, you won't care anyway. But save yourself some money, get yourself some barbless jig heads without the bait keeper and get yourself some stinger tail, whatever you want, to, Bobby Garland style jigs and try that out. It doesn't matter whether you're vertical jigging, it doesn't matter whether you get yourself a little fill bobber like this, throw a jig under a bobber so it just suspends. Even when I'm throwing road runners, I still use a crappie nibble because they'll hold on to it longer. But yeah, try those two main things. Crappie nibble and hook or jig head without a bait keeper and I promise you, you will catch more fish and you'll save yourself some money, which is a win-win. It's hard to beat. So, hopefully I can put some more uh, videos like this together for you guys, but let me know what you guys want to see. Just leave me some comments. I've got some video ideas coming up, but I really kind of want to post what you guys want to see. So leave me some feedback in the comments and go out and try this and then leave a comment and tell me how it goes because I have a feeling it's going to go well. But as always, thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more.